Hello! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. You know that. We look especially unhinged right now. I did wake up like this. <laughs> so we're gonna get ready for the day. We're gonna watch a scammer tries to defend their actions and make themselves sound better and just like explain away things that contradict themselves and it's just amazing. So today we're gonna be watching a Instagram live from Coach Sabrina. It looks like she's like waving a wand, but she's like smoking hookah and drinking wine and talking to the four people that are on her live. Listen, we've all been there. We've all been there. We've all had like four people on a live before, but typically people who don't have a lot of engagement and don't have a lot of followers, like they're not gonna be calling themselves social media experts. <laughs> like, baby, no, that's not how that works. It is 9 a.m. We need to get ready. I have some errands to run today, but like I also need to film a few videos too. And guess what? Since this video has copyrighted music on it, we are going to try our best to isolate just her voice so that this video doesn't get demonetized. But either way, we have a sponsor for today's video, so it doesn't really matter anyways, because that's how it works, being an actual boss babe. So let's hear from that sponsor and then let's get back to the video. Hold on, wait just one minute. Y'all know that we like to stay spicy on this channel. Y'all also know that we are very sex positive on this channel. Y'all also, also know that pregnancy is weird. I'm at the point where I can't control my body. I think you know what that means. Uh, it, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it means a lot of things. <laughs> However, it means that sometimes you just gotta do things and you just gotta love yourself, okay? Which actually brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is the Womanizer. This is the Womanizer Premium 2. And I do not say it lightly when I say that this is your key to unlocking a whole new world, not only of luxury, but of self-love as well. And you can see that the shape of this is very ergonomic with your hand. Your hand ain't gonna start hurting, girl, because sometimes that can happen. To start, all you do is press the power button and it starts in smart silence until it senses that contact with skin. And once it does, you will be able to enjoy that contactless divine air pressure stimulation. Now, I don't think y'all are aware, but I'm gonna tell ya that Womanizer was actually the first toys on the market to use gentle airwaves instead of vibration. So they are the original. And these suction, pulsating, clitoral stimulation types of toys are now the most popular on the market, which I, absolutely love. And this does have various settings, settings? And this, it already got me stuttering. <laughs> and this does have various settings for you so that you can enjoy at any level, whatever you're comfortable with. So whether it is with a partner or just with yourself, Maybe you're giving it as a gift to someone else or yourself. Girl, give yourself a gift. You deserve it. You deserve that self-love. Go ahead and click that link down below in the description box so that you can go ahead and start loving on yourself. Because again, you deserve it. You deserve some me time, okay? Get spicy. Also, every product that I use will be linked down below. I promise, yes, it will be affiliate links because this girl has bills to pay. We took down everything off of our walls in our house. We patched holes. To give you all a quick little update, I know I've been like kind of vague about it, but we did sell our house. We were super excited. We have to be out by the end of the month. And then we bought another house that isn't gonna be done being built <laughs> until the end of the year. So today, actually, one of the errands we're running is going to look at an apartment that we can move into in the meantime, so. I've been like trying to like train Wiggum for like apartment living so that he knows like we can't go outside like every five seconds. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be fine. We are reframing, as you can imagine. It's just like a real stressful time right now. Even my therapist was like, oh my God, like y'all got a lot going on. So not only pregnancy, being six and a half months pregnant, having the pain of my pelvis and my ribs, my skeleton is screaming, it hurts so bad. I have to take a hot bath like every day. Yesterday I took two, it's the only thing that like helps. Yes, I've tried yoga, yes, I've seen doctors and stuff. It just, it, I have a short torso, like there's nothing I can do about it. There's that, packing, moving out, moving stuff into storage, trying to find a place to live, moving into there, and still working more than full time. So we're doing it, it's fine, let's go. That's what it's like when you actually work for yourself and your income is based on yourself, not your downline. So let's keep going. I got so long this day. Siki Suzanne, no, nobody. Oh, which one? No, I just say Susan. Because I did have a hater and she's Susan. Karen doesn't exist. That's just... Have you been on this live the entire time, Jad? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> you see me talk my shit. 
I'm having fun with you guys. You guys are good crowd today. I think I fast forwarded it too much. So let me actually go back. We are going to do it at 1.25 speed just because she's a little bit crazy, but we can't do it too fast. Okay. We're going to start it from the beginning. I used to do that. Not anymore. You know why? Because people take me every day to go join my team. You know what I mean? Like, I have a guest list. <laughs> and people think it gets, like, I don't know. It's pretty fun to me. Yes, yeah, she's using a filter, but she looks beautiful. Just have to say that real quick. But also, she says... I used to have to text people all the time to join my team. Now I don't. Now people text me. Y'all cold message a lot of people every single day. So just because like the medium is different, just because like you're not texting them, you're DMing them, it's the same thing. You're still reaching out to a lot of people every single day. Even for my event, I texted people, but did I sell the fucking thing out? Yeah. What's the fucking problem? Like, I don't know. As if it was taboo, as if like I'm trying to hide it. Like, I don't know, people sometimes are crazy. Like, they make up stories in their mind and I'm just like, you know, weird. Like, I'm very open about it. Like, network marketing is network marketing. Like, period. I don't know. People are just close minded and nothing happened to you because that video is an hour and a half long. Yo, in an hour and a half, you could have made like $600. Join my fucking team, do something. I don't know. So one funny thing is that they talk about, they talk about Isabella a lot, Isabella Lanter, but then they like don't come for me, it seems. So like, it seems like they come for Isabella a lot more. And I don't, I don't know if it's, and this is not shade to Isabella. Y'all know I love her so much, support her so much. She's amazing. I cannot wait to see her in a month when she comes down for my baby shower. But and Deanna, I don't know why they like go after like her more and not me. You don't understand how this works. Like our social media is monetized. Like, do you, un do you understand that? Do you get that? Like, for instance, if this video is sponsored, which I mean, me and Isabella, have, we have a good amount of sponsored videos. I feel like I'm like, accept like if I like a company and like, like what they want me to say and the like the product, I'm like, yes, girl, give me like, g give me that sponsorship. But the funny thing is like, they don't understand that. So for instance, this video is going to be sponsored. Filming that ad read takes less than an hour and I'm making that money a, a month later, obviously, because that's how invoices work. But you don't understand how any of this works because you're, because <laughs> you're ignorant. Be aware, I might go to jail. I might send you a DM, like... It's not that sending a DM is the thing that's nefarious. It's not. That's fine. Misinformation and the false advertisement. You can get sued for false advertisement. I mean, that is, that is something that is illegal to do. Yes, and being in a pyramid scheme and all that. Undo influence and brainwashing and all that. Like, that's not illegal, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just like... And also, just because something is illegal doesn't mean it's right doesn't mean it's okay. Like there are a lot of things that are technically legal that are still fudged up. Like y'all know how many times our friends or family or, you know, people will message me and be like, or text me. Like we even had a friend this past weekend or this past week who was like, hey, I I have a, a, a law enforcement question or like I have a legal question. And so like, they'll talk to me and Tony about it. And there are so many times where he has to say, he's like, it sucks. I know like it's not illegal though. And like, he'll try to advise them on it. And it just because something is legal doesn't mean it's right. Doesn't mean it's not icky. Doesn't mean it's not cringe. Doesn't mean it's not unethical. Like, I don't, you see how I laugh? Cause it's so dumb that like, yeah, it's just really dumb. Mm. You know, these people clearly don't do sales. And if you don't do sales, you broke. Cause literally every day you sell or get sold. It's just what it is. You guys are watching me on your iPhone right now. You got sold on that. And you probably have the new one, the 15, 13 plus Pro Max, Gigabyte, Trickabyte, whatever the case may be, because they keep updating. And you got sold on that too. Why? Because the F12 started to lag. I have the iPhone 13 and all of a sudden it's lagging. That's just like the hookah. I used to not smoke this shit. I got sold on it. Look at me now. Smoking the damn thing in my fucking room, in my office. You see? Like, come on. Look. Girl, there's nothing wrong with sales. There's nothing wrong with selling something. But there's a way to be ethical about it. Like, they try to act like what they do is just sales when it's like it's not just sales it's also like how you go about it come on i don't i don't have that i got sold on this day Siki suzanne no nobody oh which one no i just say susan because i did have a hater and she's susan karen doesn't make this, this. have you been on this live the entire time Jad? is that what's happening here <laughs> you see me look, talk my shit i'm having fun with you guys you guys are good crowd today she calls people Susans instead of Karens, which is fine, whatever. I don't know. I think calling someone a, like a hater is like so dismissive. But then again, in like all sense of the term, like, yeah, I, I do hate people that scam or I do hate scamming. The crowd, we're not a lot, but you know what? It's better private anyway. Because the other day you want to know what type of hate I got? You have 8K, 8K followers and only 15 people on your live. I would be embarrassed. People have a fucking life, sir. Like, 
what <laughs> i was like people have shits to do like i'm just doing this life because i have clearly nothing to do i'm done with my day and i just want to chit chat with my people and then they were coming at me because there were just only 50 people i would be embarrassed and like it should be a shame i should go what that my followers have a life and they don't have the time to be listening to me talk shit for 45 minutes like that's the type of hate i be getting so like i don't know listen live streams are not a good like a good reference point of someone's true engagement sometimes i have a thousand people in a live sometimes i have 200 and i have a, over a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube so it's and yeah people unless you like warn them about a live and schedule it and you know hype it up a little bit or like they know to look forward to it they know to not miss it something like that like that's different most people when they go live they just go live like i i never schedule it you are calling yourself a social media expert you are calling yourself coach sabrina you are telling people that you like are so good at social media, the engagement isn't there. Same with your reels and your TikToks and your in other like ways to see an engagement rate on social media. So like, sorry, girl. Haters, yeah. Like, have you ever, it's like, like who the fuck cares how many people are here? If there's less that's better, we can actually interact. Exactly. I can actually fucking talk to guys. Like, there's 200 people on the line. Your, ask, your questions never get fucking answered. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just have 20 and you guys like, well, ask me questions, I get overwhelmed. Like, stop now. Like, anyway, that's why guys like, I don't get triggered by like those comments like if you get overwhelmed by 20 people in a live how do you expect anyone to believe that you can handle the amount of people that you are trying to recruit onto your team you can't manage that many people you can't supervise mentor whatever you want to call it you can't do that that's not how that works then oh my very insecure self low confidence will boss yourself would get triggered and i would get sad and i would cry i'd hate because i've got like i even got some like threats like people sending me very very bad like horrible messages i don't know if you guys have ever don't send anyone i don't care who it is i don't care if it's someone in mlm sabrina Jasmine, Jesse Lee Ward, anyone. Do not send them threats. What are you doing? That is embarrassing. Don't do that. I don't care if it's Brittany Dawn, the Jesus scammer resurrected from the tomb herself. Don't do that. That is embarrassing. I've experienced that. And now when I see them, I just love. What I remember two years ago, it used to affect me. And I would cry and it would like play in my mind. And then I realized like hurt people hurt people. There's never going to be somebody that's actually successful for real that will take the time to hate on people, straight up, so. Cause people have said before like, well, what's the difference between like you saying it in a video and then like someone, you know, just trashing people like constantly on these like hate threads. And it's like, have you ever gone to these hate threads? Go to mine right now, <laughs> go to it. Do you see the most, uh, they get mad? They get mad that I haven't checked it in a, a year because I have it blocked from my computer, but these people, will get mad that like, one, I'm attractive, that I'm confident, that I make money, that this is my job, that I'm attracted to my husband and that I think he's a 10 because let's be honest, he is. And that's none of your business. I don't care what you think because you're not the one effing him. It's just like the dumbest shit they get mad about. So, and just then there's like the other ones where people will just say like the most vile. And there's a difference between that, which is like completely unhinged, go to therapy, get help, wash your butt. Like, what are you doing? Really like, what are you doing? Like, does this make you feel better? That's unhinged. And then there's the ones where it's like people actually bringing up, for instance, me in videos, saying it with my whole chest, my whole face, my legal name, saying it, having documentation, facts, well-established, well-researched opinions, and your own voice and video footage to back up what I'm saying without like tearing you down. No, I can say I don't like you. That's not me tearing you down. I can say that in my opinion, the business model and structure and company that you work for is a scam. I can break down what you're saying and prove you wrong. That's not me being a hater. That's someone having an opinion. Not everyone who doesn't like you, not everyone who doesn't agree with you, not everyone who calls you out in your is a hater. I make peace with that. No, I don't care. If I get hate, I'm like, I'm fucking loud enough. When I don't get hate for a while, I'm like, mm, we're gonna be louder. Lately, I've been getting a lot of hate, but guess what? My business has actually been doing fucking amazing. And I've been loud as fuck, and I'm on everybody's For You page. And the more you hate on me, the more views I get. The more views I get, the more people get to me. I'm on everyone's For You page. Girl, didn't your TikTok just get banned? <laughs> like, Thank you, respectfully. You know, so that's the mindset I have now, but it wasn't like that two years ago, you know? 
Here's what I would like. I will cry for it. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I will fucking cry. Not anymore. <laughs> Dude, you guys are a vibe. The yes, queen of Kim K. <laughs> you guys are a vibe, the 14 people who like are hardly commenting. Someone said, what do you do? Are you a traitor? Their hate don't pay your bills. But Sabrina just said the opposite, so. Let me know when you get your credit card. He's joining my team. Probably this week, hopefully. Beginning of next week, we'll see. We'll see. Do not open a credit card. Please, for the love of God. If you have to open a credit card to afford something, guess what? That means you can't afford it and you shouldn't buy it and you should wait till you can afford it because that's the dumbest thing you could ever do. But yeah, Montreal team has been killing out, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Be ready for us. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys some tea, but I just say between us. On Wednesday, I'm launching something new. I'm launching some something new. Girl, you made sweatshirts. You made sweatshirts and you rebranded your Montreal team. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> it is so, so embarrassing. That's why she blocked me, which I'm surprised she hadn't blocked me sooner, but which it's fine. You can block whoever you want. I don't care. But I'm not gonna say more than that. I'm sorry. Um, it's a wonton soup, strip wonton soup from Costco. Very convenient. You put some water in it. You put it in the microwave for three minutes. You put a little bit of soy sauce. Take me fucking later. That's when you don't want to cook. And you want to come on live and talk your shit. That's what you mean. But honestly, it's fucking good. Costco be pulling up. I'm not Bob Serena. What did I do? What did I do? I'm so goofy. What did I do again? Please. Rachel, first of all, did you plan your week? She's on my team. She's killing it. Did you plan your week already? Did you do what you got to do before? Because I'm just fucking shit here. But I'm done with what I have to do for today. Like, my lives can be productive, but it's also my me time now. Like, I don't care. I'm having fun. Playlist has been... I'm putting you guys on the real deal. No, you guys need to go to Costco and get these soup. It's right now. It's fucking good. It's really cheap too, I think. Like what? Twenty dollars a box? I don't know, but it's good. I'm multitasking. I'm listening to you while planning my week. I'm dead. Yeah. Um. Are you Latina? Yeah. Chilena. Do you guys speak Spanish? Somebody in here? Okay, please. I'm going to like Spanish. Sorry, I know it's a little cringe watching somebody eat, but I kind of want to eat, so you're going to have to suffer a minute. Wait, what does that mean, John? She's super Latina. What does that mean? Somebody, I talked to somebody today. John, do you know? Um... And that person was like, oh, that Latina side is coming out. And I was like, what do you mean coming out? I'm always fucking Latina. I was born this way. And like, on top of that, I'm Latina and I'm a Scorpio. So that's very powerful craziness duo right there. So like, there's crazy, there's me. But there's people that are way more crazy than me, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Someone said it's cringe watching you regardless if you're eating or not. Mm, that's true. It's cringe watching you regardless of if you're eating or not. You know what's even more cringe? You saying that, but you're actually watching me right now. That's even more cringe. And you know what's even more cringe is that you would never have enough balls to tell me up in my face. I think that's more cringe. But thank you so much for the insight. It's funny that they like really think that people wouldn't say this shit to their face. I would 1 million percent say this shit to your face. Like, listen, I'm not one for like in-person confrontation. But if when I see like them on eight girlies, like at a f pool or at like eating tacos or something, I'm not just going to go up to them and be like, hey, <laughs> no, that's inappropriate. I don't, I don't want people to talk to me in public. I mean, I, that sounds bad. If you see me, say hi, which y'all do, but... Want to talk, let's talk. You didn't choose the right girl. First of all, it's not the right day. Now talk it to the right girl, because what you say doesn't affect me. I think it's fun, so go ahead. Give me some stuff. Give me. You know, get the fuck out of my life, miserable ass people. Anyway, moving on. So what we were saying... Yo, shut up. Uh, yeah, exactly. Get the fuck out, I blocked her. I got my own people. Anyways, like I was saying, there's people crazier than me. Like, I'm not the type... Like, let me know, the girls on my life, like, what do you guys do, like... Like when you get mad, like do you do crazy shit? Cause I'm not like that. I just, when I say I'm crazy, I just get to, not I get to, but I, I'm just very straight up. And I'll tell you things that, yeah, last video step play. I blocked her. Oh, somebody else gonna come. Don't worry about it. Every day on every live, I have at least five haters. It's just a matter of time. Give it a couple minutes. Give it a couple minutes. I'm telling you. It's a fucking show up in here. It's a party of haters up in my lives. Okay, this song is very sad. I put like a very sad song. This like never ending bowl of soup that she's drinking, like, or slurping. You really slurping that sh 
down, girl. Like, did you see haters coming at me? It's cringe watching you, regardless of you eating or not eating. Well, why are you watching me for? Who's crazy here? Like, who? I'm confused. Am I crazy or are you crazy? Because in my book, you want Because if I don't like somebody, guys, like, you know what I do? I don't look at them. I don't talk to them. And I don't follow them. But people really be hating me, but follow me and watching my stuff every day. Every, like, that's very whack. It's very sad. I can't speak for any other YouTuber or any other person, but I know personally, typically don't follow any scammers because the great thing is that I have an awesome following, an awesome community, cringe, who sends me all this so that I don't have to watch it. I don't want to watch it. I don't even watch the things. I was about to say something. What is this? Okay, fuck. Why are you trying to do this? Okay, I'm going to put a Chilean song. Eh, traicionera. It's funny that she says, like, well, I don't even watch their things. Like, she doesn't watch, like, our videos and stuff. But then how do you know what we're saying? Like, how do you know what is said? How can you have an opinion on it if you don't watch it? Facts, don't follow someone if you don't like them. Exactly. Like, don't follow me. Like, I didn't. I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to feel some type of way. You don't follow me. I still love you. Just don't follow me. That's Chilean, by the way. It's from my country. That's what it is. I saw him on a show in Montreal. But yeah, guys, it was a busy week. It was such a productive week. The business is doing amazing. The team is making money. And like I say it all the time, it's great to be successful, but what's better is when you're, you can put people on. And that's like, because right now, like I'm not even like, yeah, I'm ready to the next level in my next rank and I'm close, but I really just want my people to have it more than me. Because that's how you hit the next rank. You can't hit the next rank without your team being successful. Like, are you dumb? Like, does she think that we don't know? <sighs> Sabrina, we know how it works. Like, what are you doing? I don't know, like when you hit a certain level in your life, a certain success, and you see that type of money and it's like, now I want that for others. It's just, it's so crazy because like, no matter how much money I make, like if you're not in network marketing, you don't care what money other people are making. Like, yeah, sure, I, in the grand scheme of things, like I want people to be successful, but like, I'm not out here being like, oh, I just, I want you to make so much money. I'm focused on myself and my own finances. Thank you very much. But they can't focus on themselves. They can't focus on their own finances because the way they have finances the way that they get money is to try to bring up the people below them. Like, that is exhausting. I would not be able, like, I'm great at sales. I really, really am. I'm so good. I'm such a, like, a grinder, a hustler. I am. No pressure, no diamonds, baby. You can't deposit excuses. Let's go. First one in, last one out. Like, I leave when the cleaning crew leaves too. Like, I'm there. However, I never had to worry about what anyone else on my team was doing. I never had to worry. Like, that didn't affect my money, so why did I I care. I, I don't like, I, again, like I want other like YouTubers and influencers to be successful. Sure. I want them to make money, but like, I don't care because it doesn't affect me. They care because that's all that affects them. Excited for the team. I'm excited. I used to, I used to listen to this with my mom. I see a successful woman in the future. I'm already successful. I'm already fucking successful, but thank you. I appreciate it. I come a long way, man. I used to be so broke. <laughs> and now I make, yeah, it's insane. You know what? It's just like when you want something, like, you just really have to go for it. You just really have to go for it and not listen to anybody else. Not listen to the noise around you. Not listen to the haters. Not listen to the non-sayers. But more so, not listen to the people that are close to you that don't have the same vision as you. Because that's the hardest. When haters hate on you, they're haters, so you don't care. When people that you don't care, they talk about you. But when it's your family, when it's your significant others, when <clears throat> when it's your best friends that talk down on what you do or that don't believe what you do or that don't see it, that don't get it, that's what's hard. But you can't let them get to you. You know, we always say that they take like little like nuggets of truth or little nuggets of like what people can relate to and then try to make it, like try to apply it to what they do. And that right there is a great example of it. So don't listen to even people that are close to you that are like telling you not to do something. Is someone not having like the same vision as you or someone not understanding like 
the industry that you're going into or something like that. That's different than someone being like, no, 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 like, this is a proven, like, it, it's not gonna work. Like, that you, you might make a little bit of money here and there. You might make, like, enough to convince you that you should keep doing it. But, like, that's not sustainable. Sabrina, you're gonna make Forbes 40 under 40. Just wait on it. Mark my words. Stop it. I cannot. I cannot. I'm down for that. I'm down. Let's manifest that, please. It's gonna happen. That was my jam with my mom. And he came to Montreal and we went and all the Latinas were like, like crying and like, so dramatic. If y'all think like it's like jumping around or whatever, you can just go to her Instagram and watch this, I guess. I mean, if she saved it, I don't know. But there's parts where she's like singing or it's like just the music. And I'm gonna have Ethan take that those parts out. But also... I'm like on my own, like before I even send this to Ethan, I'm going to try to isolate her voice and hopefully we'll be able to do that because I don't want to just be like playing. Not that I, listen, not that I don't love this type of music, I do, but like I don't want to just be having this play the entire time. Yeah, the people who talk about someone else in a bad way because exactly... Yep. The people who talks about someone else in a bad way is because they can't reach where you are. That's not always true. I can have an opinion on someone being a dumb piece of poop and be more successful than them. Like, I got a lot of opinions, okay? So that's not accurate. Like, stop trying to make, stop, tr stop saying this type of stuff just to make yourself feel better. It's embarrassing. Yep. And that's what happens. And like, also the people that judge me, I get to realize, like, they, they get triggered sometimes because I have a very strong, like, I was saying, because you weren't on earlier, but like, I was saying, like, I'm a very alpha woman. I say what I think, but our shisha is better, by the way. Yeah, listen, my friend, aren't you proud of me? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Habibi, you should be proud of me right now. I lit up my own shisha. Come on, come on. But yeah, like, um, I'm a very alpha woman. I say what, I speak my mind. I talk loud. I take space. Um, I'm very focused. I'm very driven. I make a lot of money. Like, people get triggered by that. Like, people that don't have enough balls get triggered by that. She's not wrong regarding that. But also, I don't think that's why people don't like you. I think it's because what you say is typically nonsense. You can be a loud woman, a loud human in general, and not actually, and just be making noise. Cool, bring in with you next time. Yeah. Habibi, you see, oh, I'm half, I think I'm half Arabic low-key still. Okay, we're gonna put some bachata. Not me smoke shisha once. I'm half Arabic, <laughs> like relax. I'm not trying to do no cultural appropriation here. Oh. It's really fun to smoke shisha, but at some point, I mean, I'm happy it's with no tobacco because it's a lot of smoke, you know? Oh. I'm going to go to the club and have an amazing night. You too. Have a good night. Oof, the jam, eh? Is, are you talking about the music, Rachel? You got me dancing with this one. I knew it. Can she say something of substance in this live stream? I mean, listen, my live streams aren't that entertaining. <laughs> I don't do too much in them. But like, this is so boring. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, my soup is low-key getting cold. So let's switch it up. <laughs> my type of soup. So what do you guys want to talk about? I'm gonna end the live soon. Um, but um, how long have I been on? 50 minutes? She'd already been on for 15 minutes by the, or 50 minutes by the time this person started recording. If your family knew that you recruited people, knowing those people would lose money, they would be ashamed to do better. You know what? The people that join me actually make more money and actually change their life. And they actually text me every single day about how I've changed their life in a positive way and how I was able to bring such a light in their world. So I get it that you're triggered and you're probably unhappy with where you're at right now. And you probably hate your job and hate your life and you probably live paycheck to paycheck. But that's, that has nothing to do with me. Yikes, girl. Ooh, talk about projection. According to your income disclosure statement and how much people who have been under you have, I mean, yeah, that's anecdotal evidence, but would they leave your team if it wasn't true? Income disclosure statements aren't anecdotal evidence. That is, those are statistics and those are facts. So yikes. Imagine, <laughs> imagine your, your comeback to someone, like your rebuttal to them saying like, you're scamming people, please do better. Like your family would be disappointed. Imagine your <laughs> comeback to that is you're poor and you hate your life and everyone that's on my team is doing so good. If everyone on your team was making money, which is impossible in an MLM, someone is always losing money. 
That's literally how it works. For you to be making money, someone has to be losing money. Nothing to do with me. You're trying to put this on me, but I just want you to know, I don't think it's personal. If ever, I wish you the best. I can recommend book. You should actually get the book, um, um, The Four Agreements. You should get the, the book, The Four Agreements. I think it would help you a lot. Um, but yeah, God bless you. <laughs> I don't take it personally. It has nothing to do with me. It's not my fault. You're the one recruiting people. How is it not your fault? You're the one doing it. What are you talking about? This is great. This is wonderful. I'm happy she stopped singing and started just talking. Sh That's great. Guidance. So I'm not going to answer hate with hate this time because Andrea, you need Jesus right now. I'm not going to answer hate with hate this time. You just called them poor and miserable. <laughs> What? This is glorious. Sabrina, I love you, you beautiful soul. I had so many people saying like, if she wasn't in an MLM, like she would be hilarious. Go to church, do something. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna give you an extra minute on my life just so you can enjoy before I block you. So just enjoy, you can take a screenshot before probably least recording. At least make me look good. You wanna follow me? Cause you're gonna post this on YouTube cause you have nothing else to do. It's, it's Sabrina C. Vidal on IG. Yeah, I've got to know that deep down you know what you're doing is wrong. No. Sometimes they'll assume that everyone who is like a hater is like gonna post it on YouTube. It's like, that's not how that works. Yeah, not everyone who comments something that li or opposes what you do is a YouTuber. There's other people out there, Sabrina, that don't like you. Deep down, I really know what I have to offer. And deep down, I know the messages I get every day from my team and I know the impact. Yeah, I wish you were in my shoes. But tears. Good try at trying to put me down. Good try. You know what? I give you A for effort. I really do. Very, you know what? You're very consistent. Very consistent at the hate. If you would actually put that into a business, it would be good for you. If you actually put that into a business, it would be good for you. You mean like a YouTuber? You mean like the YouTubers you say don't make any money and give you free clout and all that? Please tell me how someone... Like, yeah, someone, like, just talking shit about you, I could understand, like, not all press is good press. Like, to an extent, yes, but not when it's people actually debunking everything that you're saying. And it's not just hate, it's people systematically proving you wrong. So, no, that doesn't make you look good. That makes you look really bad. Andrea, listen, they just don't get it. And, like, again, people come to me to join me. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm like, yo, pull up your credit card. Yo, bro, pull up your credit No, that's not how it works. People on the phone with me, they know damn right what they're doing because they're grown ass people. People that join me are over 18 years old. They're adults, they can drink so they can figure their shit out. Someone said she's selling a service just like makeup companies sell a product, but she's not selling a service. The only way that you can use the service that they even offer is by becoming an employee of the company. That's not like makeup companies. So calm the fuck down and don't piss me off because I'm having a good time. Yo, because guys, I think that getting hate makes me want to be louder. Like, don't hate on me because you might activate me. Like, don't hate on me because it might activate me. Good, good, good. I just stuttered. <laughs> Keep going, please, because that's better for me. You being a big old dum dum on the internet. I said it in a previous video. I don't know if it'll be posted before or after this one. Depends on sponsors, but. I don't think they realize that like being unhinged and like talking about haters and, and like going off and really just not looking good. Like from a PR standpoint, losing your shit about haters and like people who actually are sharing facts and proving you wrong, that does not look good for quote unquote, your business. I never say that I'll make people rich because it's fake. She recruits them by deceiving them into joining with false promises of making them rich. And then she just said, I never say I'll make them rich because that's fake. Pretty positive y'all have said before that you can be rich by doing this or by being in network marketing. So what are you talking about? Like, stop lying. Again, just contradicting themselves to the three people, pardon me, 13 people that are in their, oh my God, I look so emo right now, that are in their live stream embarrassing as a matter of fact you've never been on a call with me you know what because i got on a call with, with somebody today and i was like you know what i sell here is not magic so like if you don't do anything guess what you're not gonna make money oh my gosh if you don't do anything you're not gonna make money if you don't work you're not gonna make money what do you know yeah obviously obviously it's not free money like pretty sure no one thinks that i guess you don't know that because you've never asked you clearly don't know how i sell because you know the type of me selling is just being me, me being authentic and like just me being straight up with people but how could you know 
How could you? Clearly, you don't know nothing about sales, my friend. It's crazy because I really be telling people that because I don't want no fucking problems with nobody telling me, oh, I didn't get rich in 10 days. Like, yeah, this song. Clearly, you don't know how I sell. You never seen me sell. Sabrina, baby, I've seen you on so many opportunity calls. So, yes, I know how you sell. Absolutely. I've also seen multiple DM cold message conversations where you've tried to sell people. It's just me being straight up. It's just me doing this and that. I'm, you don't know anything about sales. I've literally been a top performer at almost every company I've worked at. It's gonna fucking happen. Like, it's just not that it doesn't happen like that. The only reason why I made. Baby, what you do in eight sales? That's manipulation. <laughs> Which one could argue it's the same thing, but like, it's not. If you're actually good at sales, it's not. If you're a sleaze bag then it's the same thing which is what they are ten thousand dollars a month my first month is because i'm a fucking savage that's why not because tell them to pull up the summer symposium for real it's because you've recruited a bunch of people with what the promise of something better with promises 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 i'm sure it's not because you built value in the product and what you actually do Within your first month, have you e had you even made money or understood how to use the service that you're selling? Probably not, because it was your first month. Anyway, y'all wasting my time. The hater is not the rest of you guys. I love the rest of you guys. Oh, you see that was what? My third hater on one month? It's fucking miserable. But I'm doing something right. That's good. I'm loud. That's a good thing. Take some notes. <laughs> I'm loud. That's a good thing. No, no, babe. You can of course have haters and people who don't like you. Listen, I do for sure. But is it because of like, I'm doing something unethical? No, it's probably just because they don't like my personality and that's fine. But it's not like I'm like doing anything wrong, like inherently like wrong, like I'm not scamming anyone, but you are. <laughs> like no one's lost money with me. You get what you pay for, I'll tell you that. My lord. What do you guys want me to talk about? I can do some coaching if you guys want, mentorship, any questions at all. Love your energy. Thank you, Polina. You need to be an idiot to believe that someone else will make you rich. You need to put the work in yourself too. Notice how she said too. But you're in network marketing. So that's literally other people making you rich. So you need to be an idiot to be in network marketing. You're not wrong there, girl. I love yours. I love you. Take it for the love. Because in a world full of hate, we appreciate the love. We really do. Trust me, it hits fucking different. When somebody shows me love, I'm like, because like, I can't, I'm a very straight savage, but I'm also a crybaby. And like, I'm very emotional. So like, I'm very good. Like, when I read messages, you need to be an idiot to believe someone else will make you rich. You need to put the work in yourself to exactly like, you see what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know. I honestly don't know what to tell you because people are just living on another planet, on another time zone. That's on another planet. I don't know. Your story at ADL empowered me and my mom when I told her your backstory. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. What did you like best about it? Obviously, like I got thrown under the bus. Like I did it. I found out I was going to speak on stage like two days before. So I was like, you know what? Let me tell a story. And that if it can inspire just one person to want to step into their power and do this thing while well, I'm down for it. Because like I don't come from much, but that will not determine where I'm going with this. You know what I mean? So I'm happy that you liked it. Thank you. I, but I'm excited to do better at Summer Symposium. I'm excited to do better. So stay ready. Because I'm about to kill it on stage at Summer Symposium. Um, are you from Miami? Not from Montreal. But my second home is Miami. If I was not pregnant, me and Isabella would 1 billion percent go to their summer symposium. 1 billion percent with a GoPro f strapped to my head. But not from Montreal. Born and raised in Montreal. It's just that last year I traveled five times to Miami. Five. Is it an addiction? Yes. And I'm going back to Miami next month. I'm going back in May with my mom, my sister, and my niece for my sister's birthday. I got us tickets for Miami because we can. Oh, I'm, so sad. I'm excited because it's going to be my mom's first time in Miami. I'm not, okay, so I'm like, I'm not trying to be rude. And listen, I, I live in Florida, so it's different. It's like when people are like, oh, I'm going to Orlando. I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> why would you do that? Listen, I might, I might be going in the next month so that I can go play with capybaras. If you follow me on Instagram, you get it. You get it. You're probably like, oh my God, it's happening. Because at Gatorland, yes, Gatorland, they have like a, like a capybara like rescue, I guess. I don't know. So I'm excited and I really want to go. One of them's name is Moki, Matcha. I don't remember. They're real cute though. That's one thing that I love about making money. It's not the actual money because money is worth nothing. What's lit is what you can do with it. That has to be the dumbest sh 
<laughs> that anyone has ever said. Money's worth nothing, obviously. Duh. We It's literally made up. But it's like what you can do with it. That's what's like super lit about making money. You mean the sole purpose of money? Being able to pay for things? So revolutionary. So revolutionary. There's 13 people that just had that blessing of knowledge blessed upon their ears in this live stream. And I'm really thankful for that. Somebody me something and I don't know if it's hate or if it's... <laughs> the woman was too stunned to speak. Guys, sorry, I'm so shocked. I got a very uncomfortable DM. Clearly, I don't know slangs. Ew. Uh, a guy texted me something so nasty and he was on my live. Is he still on? Because I'm blocking that guy right now. No? Ew. It looks like you just got addicted. No, but what he said is worse. And all this time he was on my live. Anyways, and guys, I just Googled what it meant and Google and um, Urban Dictionary told me what it meant. It's fucking not right. You fucking pervert. Disgusting. Ew. I mean, he's almost my age. That's not cute. Like that never, listen, that's disgusting. That never works. Wiener pictures, not that she received that, but like saying like, explicit things in dms when no one asked for it that doesn't work isn't that like sexual harassment that is so stop that's illegal don't do that to people you abs like just go touch just go watch porn and touch yourself like a normal human you freak disgusting guys really don't know what and because he, guys he went on my life and he was like look at your dms i sent you an important dm so now me thinking it's for the business it's clearly not you mother anyway What's your top five, um, your top three, five branch places there? Montreal or Miami? I'm on training calls every day with you and I'm still intrigued. I'm dead. Yeah, I, I guess it's my faces. I guess it's, I'm crazy. I don't know. Albus, I miss you. I want to see you so bad. Um, I saw, you saw when he wrote that. Well, guess what, Andrea? It wasn't business related. But it was down to business, if you know what I mean. He's, he got blocked. He got blocked, by the way. In Miami, um... I only went to breakfast once because I would make my own breakfast because in Miami, for some reason, I I thought I was a wifey. I wanted, I wanted to get wifed up. I was cooking everything, anyway, but not everything, but I would, the, I went to the, this place um, in front of Target in Design District. The Or Cafe is fucking horrible, by the way. Don't even go there. The lemonade is going to be like $16. I mean, you can go there for the content because I did go there for the content twice, <laughs> but like a coffee, disgusting. It's like $15 USD for what fucking reason? That's $20 Canadian. Are you fucking on crack? Like, no. And then a lemonade, I got a lemonade. It was $60 USD. It was this, like a glass like this. I did this. It was done. It was done. It's a scam. But people go there because it's Dior and I took my little picture that I never fucking posted on top of that. It's still in my camera roll waiting to be posted up. Anywho. Can't believe you messaged me that. What a fucking disgusting ass dude. Ooh. If guys think it's cute for us ladies to be sent messages like that, it's really not. Like it's doing the opposite of what you're trying to get at here. Hi. Hello, Megan. I'm, all, I'm gonna leave soon, friends, because I need to take this makeup off. Now I'm so curious what he said. But I mean, I'm... I don't mind telling, but I feel uncomfortable saying that on my live. Like, I know that some people might get uncomfortable with that message. If you're in Miami, Versailles, Cuban restaurant is really good. And then Old Havana Cuban Bar is really good. La Carrera is really good. There are a few other ones I can't remember, but... And if you're in Tampa, La Taracita is the best. Some of the... I'd say arguably the best Cuban sandwich in Tampa. And I don't like to talk about that stuff. I'm a little prude, so... Yeah, but I will tell you, I don't mind telling you guys, but I kind of feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I kind of feel uncomfortable telling you guys. It's kind of disgusting. What I... So Jasmine got on this live and hasn't said anything, but y'all are like best friends and she's your upline, but she's not going to like help your engagement rate. That's weird. Hmm. I got you. Don't feel uncomfortable because of me. Curiosity killed the cat. I don't actually need to know. Yeah, that, but that, you know what? Like one thing about me, like I'll get uncomfortable about some topics, but I'll still want the tea. You know what I mean? Like, I'll be one, like, tell me the cheese, man. Like, I want to know it all. But then I know it, and I'm like, ew, I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, that's me, so. Anyways, who's up? Okay, Patrick, Habebs, Mia, Mimi, Andrea, Will. 
Bad Gal, Paige, AR, Vanessa. Trying to make some money or what? Eight people. Eight people on this live now. And there's 20 more minutes left. Call it quits, girl. I'm trying to make some money or what? Let's talk business for a second. Because I've been here for an hour long talking shit. Like, are you guys are trying to make some money? I don't know. Like, I'm trying to find out. Because my mentorship spots are open and I can get on calls with you guys tomorrow if you want to join and make some money. Let's see how many people engage with her saying that. I doubt that it's gonna be anybody. I need to like move this mirror, sorry. It like freaks me out when I can see like what's in there. But I was primping. We have a promo, it ends on, on Tuesday. Don't say I didn't tell you. Also, in case you didn't see, we have new stickers. Also, we have new merch. I was gonna be wearing one of the shirts, but I have to wash it because whenever like, whenever like my merch shirts come in, I don't know why, but they always like smell like glue. So I have to wash them. Do not dry them. Air dry, please, or tumble dry. Do not dry them. I feel like y'all should know with cotton shirts, you don't dry them. We have sticker sheets. It's this one, the Wiggum one, and the Trophy Wife one, Peppers, and the Peace Sign. So, dad hats, and shirts, and Wiggum's Couch Club shirts, and Trophy Wife hoodies and shirts, and all the things. So, please get that. I'm very pleased with how the mushroom shirts came out. They're not too like harsh, I guess, like the detailing right here. It's like supposed to look like it's a little bit faded and I really like it. So yeah, and it says stay spicy on the back. I'm really happy about that design. I hand drew it. So yeah, you should like it too and go buy that if you want. Uh, that is a great way to support my channel. We have a new merch site, chelseasuarez.com. Now she starts talking about business and guess what? There's six people there now. People just left <laughs> because guess why? Most of the people who are on that live probably are already on her team or are in network marketing already or are like, oh, I'm not interested in that. She's just, you know, hot. So, and she is rightfully so. She's a beautiful girl, but like they don't want to be scammed by you. It's crazy that her neon light says coach Sabrina. What are you coaching? Typing skills on a hundred. Oh yeah. I thought it, I thought it took a business people left my life like, nope, I'm not trying to make money. Okay. Okay. It's fine with me. <laughs> I'm going to do one last charcoal and then peace out. I'm loving my hair, but it's not my hair. It's fake. I mean, it is my hair, but it's not my natural hair. I mean, it's fake. I have a wig on. No, it's my hair, but it's just not my hair. I mean, <laughs> it is my hair, but it's not my natural hair. Sorry, guys. I'm getting tired. Everyone got scared. Yeah, everybody got scared that they might be successful. If you hop on my life, you might become rich. But I thought you said that you don't promote people getting rich by joining the opportunity. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> okay, let's not say rich because people, haters are going to come at me. <laughs> if you come on my life, you might start making money online. Fuck. Fuck, it sucks. <laughs> I mean, my, it's getting a little sad. You know what? I think I'm going to remove my makeup online. Might as well be productive. <laughs> that way, when I hop off the live, I can go in, in the shower. <laughs> uh, I'm the productivity queen. <laughs> I'm excited for this week because, guys, we're about to pop up a new rank. A big rank, like a big one, and a lot of other ones, but a big one, the main one. That's gonna be good. And um, yeah, so we're gonna pop up a brand new rank, big rank, because this week we popped up new co two new core ranks, which is like the first leadership rank, you know. And um, yeah, this week we're gonna have a big rank, some part-time ranks, some smaller ranks, like a lot of everything. It looks like I have blush a little bit, please. Not her just explaining basically how network marketing works. Like, girl, we know. We know that other people ranking up means you're going to rank up. The best feeling if you're a girl, you know, taking up for makeup is the best thing that could happen to you. Ever. It's like the same feeling as taking off a bra, but I don't wear bras. Like, this is a sports bra that I use as a top. No, go solo, solo. This track is a classic, yeah? I'm half, my makeup is half on my other crazy. Yeah, because it's half there.
sing the real Sabrini. I mean, I haven't felt it all though. You guys get it. And it's honestly not because I care like that. I don't care if you guys see me with no makeup, but I just love putting filters on. And I don't know why people hate because if you see me in person, you'll see my real face. Why am I? You know? Oh, you want to see my real face? Meet me in person. I mean, listen, there, uh, there's nothing wrong with using filters as long as you're not selling like a makeup product, it's like selling something that like is being altered by that thing. So like, I don't think that matters. Like, yes, of course, I face tune and face up my pictures. Y'all also see me completely unedited in videos. <laughs> but then also like, I'm not selling a makeup product or something, right? Like I'm not using a filter and then being like, oh my God, look how great this makeup product looks. It's not, not like Michaela Nguera over here and being like, oh my God, Liz, is <gasps> it's the best product in the world. And she has a completely different face, like wild to me. Like, absolutely. I don't know how that woman girl, woman, whatever, has maintained a following and become so successful when she literally is catfishing. Come to my event, <laughs> join my team. <laughs> join my team if you wanna see what my real face looks like. Great sales, girl, great, great job. Best feeling ever. <laughs> Let's do some gratitude, guys. What are you guys grateful for? And drop it in the chat. What are you guys grateful for today? I'm grateful for water. I'm grateful for my business. I'm grateful for food. I'm grateful for a roof over my head. I'm grateful for wine. I'm grateful that I got a freaking hookah. <laughs> I'm grateful for my team, my business. Um, yeah, what are you guys grateful for? Let's do some gratitude before I hop off. I'm grateful that the IG gods didn't shut us down today. What? Like, if that's something you have to worry about, like, yikes. Okay, we're gonna fast forward just, like, a little bit because this is annoying. A lot of stuff is coming from my team, y'all. Like, a lot. Good stuff coming up. Best feeling ever. Oof. No more makeup. But I, oof. Oof, I love that for me. Okay, guys, I think we're going to put this live to an end. It was very fun to come on here and talk to you guys. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Um, Andrea, I'm going to answer your game right now. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the love that you consistently show me. I'm grateful for you guys. And I'm going to come on live tomorrow, probably when I get ready in the morning. It's, it's in my planner. I put it in my planner to come on live because I know that you guys like it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your night. God bless you guys. Bye. Because I know all nine of you really like it. I don't want to be like, oh, if I'm not making money doing it, like I don't want to do it. Because like I don't, I don't make, girl, we do not really make money doing live streams on YouTube. I say we, I mean me. But it does help a lot because it helps with connecting with your audience. If you have people watching you, y you got to start out where you start out. I get it. I mean, when I had less than 10,000 followers on YouTube, I had like an average of 20 people watching my live streams. I get it. People have a life. It's hard to, you know, it. It's, you got to start somewhere and you, you got to do it to build that audience, to build that like trust and community and all that. I understand, but it's just like, I don't know. It's really good. So I am going to try very hard to isolate her audio. I've, I've been able to do it kind of well in some videos. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'll send that over to Ethan and everything. Just, I think the contradictions are really funny and the, the whole topic of like haters, girl, I don't hate you. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. I just strongly dislike and I mean, to speak frankly, I, I, I do dislike and hate when people are scam, when they are scammed. I mean, I think that she is someone who was like brainwashed by this industry as well. And that stinks, duh. And maybe if she wasn't in network marketing, like she could have, like maybe that would make her personality, at least to me, more appealing. But because it's within network marketing, I just find it exhausting. I think exhausting is a really good way to phrase it. I mean, I'd probably be annoying as hell if I was in network marketing too, honestly. Oh, these ladies. Um, don't send hate to this person. Don't, don't talk to them. Don't do that. Don't talk to anyone in network marketing. Like, I mean, like on the internet, you know, that it's don't bait them. Don't troll them. If you want to share a fact with them or be like, hey, actually, this is the statistic that you shared is wrong or like, what's your source for this? That's different. But I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. By the time you're watching this, 
who knows? It might be, it'd be like mid-April. It might be like the end of April. I think it's like mid-April by the time you're watching this. I don't know. But I hope you have a great day and I love you and your butt looks really, what are you doing? It looks really good. Okay, go look at the new merch. Follow, like, subscribe, all that. If you're not following me on Instagram, please do. I started using my Snapchat again. I've been like a little bit unhinged and unfiltered over there. I'm not just like regurgitating content. I'm actually like doing like exclusive, I don't wanna say like exclusive content because that makes it sound like it's produced and it's not. It's just me being an idiot. So yeah, go follow over there. It's public. If I don't add you back, it's that's normal. I don't need to see what you're posting. I don't want to. No offense. So yeah, it's public and you can just find me over there. I'm the same on every social media platform. I am CC Suarez. So yeah. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Hi, I'm just coming in here real quick again to thank the sponsor of this video, Womanizer and their premiere too. Thank you again for sponsoring this video. I do appreciate it. Go ahead and click that link down below and you too can go ahead and get started with some self-love and treat yourself and get a little spicy. Goodbye.